Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another exciting round of Battle Royale here on Black Rocket's Twitch channel. Um, so today we're going to have yet another set of competitors from the College of Staten Island. This time we're going to be seeing six competitors take each other on in the free for all Battle Royale format. We uh, saw earlier today our winner Twitch streamer by the way is going to be returning in this set of competitors and we're going to see if they have what it takes to take another set of victories home with them. Um, you'll be seeing, uh, alongside Twitch streamer Afterburner, uh, Goku, Fortnite Master 00, MVP, and Waffle. Those will be our six players today in our three rounds of, uh, excuse me, free-for-all combat in Battle Royale. All of the players are in the lobby already, but just before I go ahead and load up the game for them, uh, you will notice that this is a new version of the Battle Royale engine that they are running on. There is more maps, we're going to be seeing a different night sky, and we also have some exciting new features as well as being able to track players using the map on the spectator screen. So you guys will be seeing that in just a second. But before we go ahead, um, as always, make sure to give us a follow here if you're watching live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash blackrocketllc. As well as subscribe to our YouTube highlights channel at youtube.com slash BRP clips. And last but not least, as always, thank you so much to our sponsor, Simply PHP. For all of your custom web based programming needs, choose Simply PHP. Alrighty, so we're gonna go ahead and move on into the game here. All of our players are ready to go, so we will go ahead and press M to start the match. Alright, so as we load in here, uh, as I mentioned a second ago, this is a brand new build just posted and updated today, ready uh, for our stream. So we see a nice uh, dragon looking dinosaur in the back, there's some really cool water effect here, looks like a, like a lake style area. We see the, uh, the tried and true waterfall area from times past with that chest at the bottom of the waterfall. We see this nice fiery volcano area, we've seen this one again before. Um, but as you will note, uh, this has uh, both old and new maps inside of it. The, de the developers have confirmed that this version of the game does support old and new as well as rotating maps. So we're gonna go ahead and press the M key here and as you'll see that I'm in spectator mode and we can see just where all of these players have spawned. This is super cool and is really going to help us get a, a, like a key in on when uh, players are going to be engaging with each other as well as who uh, is the farthest spread and who is the closest to one another. So we're going to go ahead and fly over to this corner of the map here. We're seeing MVP picking up a chest just outside the watery lake area. Afterburner going to be grabbing... Oh, oh! Looks like a lot of chests spawn inside that volcano there. That's going to be a huge pickup for Afterburner. Afterburner going to be looking to maybe get a quick elimination on MVP here. MVP quaking in their boots right now. Not too sure what to do. Maybe not even realizing that Afterburner was there. And immediately, MVP is going to get taken down. Let's go ahead and rotate to the other sides of the map. Now we see Waffle, Waffle over here, uh, opting to go into the nice big uh, ri river type chest, or excuse me, river type castle area. Uh, the castle always has some nice chests in it, as well as some really nice hiding spots for players looking to get that defensive advantage. Uh, we're going to see Goku and Twitch Streamer, by the way, over here, looking like they're going to be getting a little bit close right now. Goku, uh, it looks like neither player actually noticed each other. Uh, Goku with a nice strong wand there, Twitch Streamer. Uh, looks like might not have a wand for themselves yet, maybe carrying a potion, I'm not too sure. Oh, there is a wand, excuse me, and these two are immediately going to go into combat. A flurry of spells coming from both players right now. Goku, uh, Twitch Streamer looking like it might be the, the runaway. Uh, Goku going to initiate the chase. We're gonna see these two, uh, playing, playing a little ring around the rosy here around the castle. Twitch streamer gonna be engaging! Goku not gonna realize, Twitch streamer gonna get a be, uh, gonna get a lot of flurries off here. Uh, Goku not too sure what to do, just gonna be running, popping a potion to keep the health high. Very smart. Twitch streamer gonna be have to, uh, gonna have to do a lot more damage to Goku before he is going to take him out. Goku opting to run behind the vents. Very smart play, gonna be able to turn it around. Is he going to take out Twitch streamer? Goku firing back with another blast of spells here. Twitch Streamer gonna be surviving that onslaught of bullets. Twitch Streamer now on the run. Goku gonna be on the chase here. Landing a nice flurry and that is going to be the end of Twitch Streamer. Congratulations Dragon Ball Goku. That is going to be a nice kill for them. Afterburner gonna be coming in from behind. We're gonna see what happens next. 
Goku and Afterburner now engaged in combat. Afterburner opting to use that Orb Wand that we have mentioned is so strong from before. And that is going to quickly eliminate uh, anyone who gets in the way of that fully charged Orb Shot. Alright. Fortnite Master here just treading along. Uh, Waffle doing quite alright for themselves as well. Going to be holding that build wand. Definitely very important building. We have not seen any building at all this game except for in the lobby phase. So we will see if one of these players opts to take out uh, the build wand and incorporate it in their strategies during combat. Alright. Taking a look at the map just real quick once again. Uh, we can see the storm closing in now after gonna after burner the in the orange they're gonna be approaching towards the center looking for some chests along the outskirts looks like waffle all the way out there in the yellow or it could be mistaken excuse me that is fortnite master in the yellow gonna be approaching the castle area here and waffle over there in the purple opting to stay on the other side of the mountain uh with uh experiencing uh, excuse me experiencing just a little bit of pressure from the storm All right, Afterburner going to be grabbing another chest here. Very nice. It looks like a lot of these new levels are experiencing a much higher frequency of chests here. Uh, a lot of these chests are going to be uh, giving the players much stronger wands as well as uh, lots of potions to keep their health just about topped off as they engage with each new opponent. Afterburner gonna, going to be approaching the castle here. Fortnite Master out here on the outskirts of the map. Waffle now out by uh, this graveyard kind of farm style area. Uh, looks like the players have pretty much rotated their locations. Afterburner now going to be in the middle of things with Fortnite and Waffle on the outside. Taking another quick look at the map. Uh, looks like none of the players are really pressed for time right about now. Uh, each player is going to be able to slowly and casually stroll into the center of the zone without having to be affected by the storm. Except unless Afterburner decides to approach Fortnite Master here, and it looks like that's what he's going to do. Afterburner going to be on the approach. A huge blast from that Orb Wand, and that is immediately going to take out Fortnite Master. Very nice showing from Afterburner, but does he have what it takes to take out Waffle on the other side of the map? Rotating over to Waffle here. Looks like we have a nice Star Wand ready to go, uh, but will that be enough to challenge the Orb Wand from the side of Afterburner? Looks like Waffle now, unfortunately, going to be pressured in by the zone here. Uh, while he opting to emote on that bridge, looks like time might not be uh, on Waffle's side here. Going to want to move off that bridge. Afterburner going to be letting loose that orb wand, except it is not going to have the distance to connect. Afterburner free to take plenty of, uh, of shots here against Waffle. Waffle just opting to run right across that bridge. Going to be experiencing a lot of storm damage. Is that going to be enough to take Waffle out of the game? Looking for the chest here. Afterburner opting to hide back in the water underneath the castle there. Waffle going to be making it back in just in time. Afterburner now hidden underneath the river. Not anymore. Afterburner is out. Both of these players are now secluded to just this castle area. And neither player has opted to go inside. Both players opting to hide around the trees. See if they can catch the opponent uh, sleeping. Looks like Waffle uh, now finally deciding to not emote. Afterburner going to be coming in with a huge orb. And that is going to be the end of Waffle. Game 1 going to Afterburner. Very nice set of gameplay. Uh, very great strategies. I really like a lot of the wand choices. We're seeing a lot of different variety here. Give us just 30 seconds and we'll be back again with the next match. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back for round two here in Battle Royale. All the players are in the lobby and ready to go. And currently in the lead, we have Afterburner with five points, Waffle with three points, and Fortnite Master with one. We will see in just a moment how the players adapt to these new maps and adapt their strategies in combat uh, in order to take out their opponents and maybe throw the lead away from Afterburner. So... As we uh, trickle into the next match here, it looks like we see a couple maps that are very familiar to us with that desolate minecart area, uh, this completely destroyed floating dice mountain. Uh, that looks like a new map in the corner there. This is really cool. Definitely excited to see these maps just as much as you guys are, I'm sure. Uh, as soon as the players drop in, we will get to see what kind of spread the players have brought to us and uh, if we see any building this time.
All right. So as I mentioned plenty before, uh, building is a great strategy to use in your gameplay. If you absorb energy using the build wand during the game, you can use uh, the build wand and place objects in front of your opponent so that you can gain the upper hand in combat. Placing down things like walls and ramps can be really beneficial for you, especially if you use them uh, right in the middle of a fight. You can place down a wall, have your opponent's flurry of spells get immediately blocked and deal no damage to you whatsoever. This can be really helpful, especially when uh, you're encountered by a lot of players or encountered in close uh, corners and it makes it so that your opponents have nowhere else to run. Alright. So in just a second, we'll be loading in here as long as all of our players have picked places to spawn. And we will get right down to the match. Definitely in, uh, excited to see one of the most... Um, one of the most exciting parts for me about seeing these new maps is definitely how it comes down to where the chests are spawned. Like I said before, these are all player-made levels, so these are all submitted levels from students who have made uh, levels in our Battle Royale class, and when they come here, they get placed under the randomizer script, and it doesn't exactly take all of the chests that the students have placed down, it takes a handful of them. And it just so happened on that on that one lake map, all of the chests spawned inside that little itty bitty volcano, and that was really helpful for Afterburner to get that huge source of loot and income immediately grab all that stuff and take down his opponents really, really fast. Alright, so it looks like we, may, we might be experiencing a little bit of technical difficulty here, so give us just one second and we'll be right back with more Battle Royale gameplay. Alright, we are back once again, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry about that. Listen, uh, some... Some technical difficulties happen sometimes. It looks like one of the players uh, from the College of Staten Island was disconnected in the middle of loading. So we had to go ahead and reset that match. No biggie. Once they pick their spawns, they're going to be launched right into this one. And it looks like we are already seeing some interesting new builds on the screen here. So, coming into this match, I'm definitely interested to see how the players adapt to Afterburner's uh, heavily aggressive gameplay that we've seen a lot from this stream, as well as from the morning stream today. Uh, so, definitely Waffle looking like a pretty good contender as well as Fortnite Master. Uh, Twitch streamer was actually the one who took home the crown this morning. So we'll definitely see how they opt to bring back that exciting energy and action that they brought for us in the morning half uh, in order to take home that victory and maybe take out Afterburner in this one. So on your screen right now you see uh, a desert area with a, with a cage. Uh, a nice valley on the bottom left corner about where my head it is right now. Uh, we've seen that map before a couple times. Some players like to drop there. It's actually a pretty nice and safe way uh, to get on the ground and not have to worry about people surrounding you immediately. But if you linger there too long, it can definitely be detrimental for you because you are going to be stuck in that tiny little mound on the ground. Looking like some sort of interesting valley with a, with a bridge in here. Seeing some nice buildings off on the left side of the map. Over on the right, we see a nice desert-themed mountain hilly area. I like this one a lot. Uh, once again, uh, I can talk about how much I like the way the maps look, but it all comes down to where these chests spawn. The players are going to have to do their best to drop down and immediately try to find chests before their opponents because the players don't know where they're going to be dropping down. And if they happen to drop down right on top of another player, that could be seriously dangerous, especially uh, if the player that is not you winds up finding the chest before you do. Alright. <clears throat> Looks like we're still waiting here. Maybe a player hasn't clicked. Maybe we have a disconnect. Hopefully not. We will find out momentarily. Alright. Uh, so once again, uh, just gonna put a quick mention out there, uh, we do have uh, some weekend event tournaments uh, for both of our games, both Battle Royale and Assembly. You can find them on, uh, you can find both of our games on our esports landing page at blackrocket.com esports, where you can go ahead and play web versions of Assembly and downloaded versions of uh, Battle Royale. But before I continue with that, it looks like our players have spawned into the game here, and we have a nice spread 
here. We have Afterburner over here in the lava area. We're going to find uh, Fortnite Master where we are. We are now over here by Waffle as well. Going to be joined by Waffle in that desert area on the right side of the map. We're going to be seeing uh, Goku in the top right. And we have MVP all the way over there in that valley area like I mentioned before. Alright, so heading on over uh, to Waffle and Fortnite Master here. We are going to be seeing the two of these players grabbing chests pretty quickly. Waffle going to be grabbing that assortment of wands that came out. Fortnite Master as well going to be experiencing a nice loot drop as well. Fortnite Master definitely going to be looking for those potions there. Potions are incredibly crucial to keeping you alive in the later stages of the game. But of course, Fortnite Master knows that Fortnite Master is a pro. Waffle over here going to be opting to leave the Valley Bridge area to see what else uh, is in store on this map. Uh, in the center here, we see like a nice uh, bridge, snowy, uh, tombstone looking area. I'm not too sure what to call this right now, but it's very interesting looking and definitely could some provide some nice cover uh, for players that are looking to hide on their opponents when the storm closes in. Afterburner going to be experiencing um, some chest drops over here, or maybe not. Not too sure if Afterburner has any wands yet for themselves. Going to be looking for more of that loot. Uh, as they approach uh, the area that MVP was just before. MVP over here. Um, looking to tread up the mountain. Looks like that is way too steep to be jumping on. That actually looks almost uh, flat from my angle. Dragon Ball Goku looking to do the same. Maybe get some high ground and scout around uh, before any plays are made. MVP going to be going in towards the castle here. And it looks like this castle is absolutely stuffed with chests this time. Going to be a great place for people to go in and grab some loot quickly. Especially this early on. Now we're taking a look over at Fortnite Master here. Going to be opting to run out to the corner of the map before the storm starts closing in. Grab that chest nice and quick. As the storm closes in, really still unsure of where it's going to be closing in. As of right now, we are looking at the top right side of the map. The camera's going to get flooded by the storm here. But I'm going to make sure that you guys can see just as much action as the players do. Fortnite Master going to be pushed away from that chest. Unfortunately, not going to be able to grab it. Make sure you're sprinting and get out of there. Fortnite Master is going to be able to escape the storm, but just barely. Thankfully, this early on, it's not going to be doing that much damage. Now we see Waffle over here. Waffle going to be opting to go for the center now. MVP going to be treading around, uh, looks like on the inside of this castle here, going to be hiding in the river, very, very sneaky. Dragon Ball Goku going to be running up this side of the mountain here, going to be trying to scale this mountain, get that height advantage. MVP is unfortunately going to be pushed out of the river here, going to be forced to go up this mountain, and maybe we will see some combat uh, when these two contenders reach the top. All right, looking like it's being a little troublesome here, the, the, uh... The path of this terrain is definitely not an easy one. Uh, Dragon Ball Goku going to be running in. Fortnite Master going to immediately pass by and uh, looks like Goku fired off a couple blasts, but nothing comes out of it. The players are not looking uh, to be aggressive right now. MVP going to be quickly passing up a chest there. Not even sure if they saw it. Going to be seeing Waffle and Afterburner maybe getting into a fight here. Afterburner going to be running away. Waffle is now on the chase. Going to be immediately engaging... Uh, Afterburner going to get pincered. Goku going to be coming out uh, victorious unless Waffle is going to be able to take him out. Waffle is going to go down to Afterburner as well. Afterburner's uh, accuracy with these wands has been absolutely stellar. Looks like Fortnite Master over here uh, showing off the messy conglomeration of stuff. I, again, I still don't know what this is or what to call it, but for now it is a conglomeration of objects. Looks like Afterburner is going to be engaging with MVP here. Oh, maybe not. Excuse me. Afterburner going ahead and go uh, travel through this uh, deserty area. Look for some leftover chests. Maybe some things that other players didn't find. MVP is going to be running it around. Maybe uh, actually into the storm for some reason. Unsure of what's going on here. Definitely noticing that MVP just ran into the storm and definitely does not want to be standing in it. Uh, the storm is now closing in. Once again, we're going to get to take a quick look at the map here. These players are going to get forced into pretty much the center of this map. And we will see what happens in just a moment. MVP making the approach here. Afterburner going to be on the top side. MVP not going to be able to go up through that way. Going to be forced to go all the way around out of the valley. Afterburner 
heading uh, into the center of the map to give himself some sort of an advantageous position here. MVP gonna be firing off the first blast from that wand towards Afterburner. Afterburner gonna turn around after hearing me say that. Afterburner going to immediately take out MVP, almost taking no damage themselves. Afterburner is on a crazy rampage right now. Definitely looking to bring back the lost glory uh, that was the earlier match today. Afterburner going to be uh, opting to run around this mountain. Going to be applied some pressure now. Both of these players at almost a, a Wild Western standoff right here. Afterburner with the advantageous field advantage. Fortnite Master going to pop a potion. It is not going to be enough. And that is going to be the win for Afterburner in Game 2. That is putting Afterburner all the way up at 10 points right now. And in just another 30 seconds, you guys are going to see the exciting conclusion of this stream's Battle Royale. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back once again for the final exciting conclusion of this stream's Battle Royale um, free-for-all. Currently in the standings, we have Afterburner way ahead of the competition with 10 points. We have Fortnite Master in a somewhat close second with 4 points. Waffle in a, um, a tight runner-up position right there with 3. And MVP currently with 1, leaving Goku and Twitch Streamer in the dust, both at 0. Both All these players are going to be running in right now. We're going to take a look at the map to see where the current player spread is. As of right now, I think we're looking at Waffle, and it looks like Waffle is going to be right next to Fortnite Master. Neither of them have a wand yet. Going to be interesting to see who gets the first drop of loot. Now we are taking a look at Twitch Streamer, by the way. Twitch Streamer is going to be uh, in somewhat of the same location as some other players here. Actually, scratch that. Uh, Fortnite Master and Waffle are over here. Uh, there's a lot of chests on top of these trucks, but does Fortnite Master know how to get up there? Twitch Streamer, by the way, going, going to go ahead and grab a nice, easy chest here. Uh, Fortnite Master, maybe uh, it might be optimal to help you, or excuse me, might be optimal for you to grab some build energy and build up on top of those cars in order for you to get all those chests. That is a lot of loot, and you definitely do not want to experience losing that right now. Afterburner going to be grabbing their arsenal of wands here. That's going to be a huge boost. Dragon Ball Goku going to be taking some of the first shots at MVP right now. MVP going to be fading away into that valley, though. Very smart play uh, to avoid some of the early uh, aggression from Goku there, even though Goku was not moving when he was taking those shots. MVP opting to fade away into the valley. Now Goku has no idea where MVP is, um, and that will be the escape for MVP. Gonna go ahead and rotate back over here once again. Twitch streamer gonna be absorbing some energy in here. Fortnite master, uh, looking like we we got one or one of the chests, and now we're just gonna run away. Uh, Fortnite master, actually, nope, never mind. Turning around, taking some shots right now. Not too sure what's going on. Waffle is still trying to get out of this hole. This was definitely not one that you wanted to jump into, my friend. I am very sorry. All right. MVP going to be the, the first player to opt to go for some of the high ground here right now. Um, an interesting mechanic in this game is you can jump up pretty much anything in this game as long as it's not a strictly 90 degree angle. MVP with a very smart strategy here. Going to be going for this top of the map where you really wouldn't expect players to be hanging out all that often. MVP going to go ahead and scour the land right now. See if they can spot any of their uh, fellow competitors. Looks like we might be seeing a chase from Goku here. Maybe not. Going to go for some of these chests here. Afterburner going to be turning around. Maybe spotting Goku. Are we going to see a chase? And it looks like we are. Afterburner immediately sprinting up this bridge. Goku just trying to jump away in absolute fear of Afterburner's orb wand. What a crazy, crazy encounter right now afterburner still on the chase goku on the retreat but he is definitely at a safe distance away from afterburner right now gonna be jumping into this little hole here is this cave going to be enough for goku to escape afterburner going to follow right in can he land some of these crucial orb shots and that is going to be the end of dragon ball goku afterburner going to be taking him out nice and easy and now we are down to five Looks like MVP taking some early shots at Twitch Streamer. Twitch Streamer not going to notice. The shots are not going to be uh, able to go far enough to connect. 
Twitch streamer with the scatter wand right now. If he falls close to MVP, this could be dangerous. MVP unloading some quick flurries here. Twitch streamer now on the disengage. MVP trying to follow right up the mountain. Fortnite Master gonna drop right in. Is he going to turn around and take these two out for slowly climbing up? He is not. Twitch streamer taking some shots. MVP taking some shots. Both of these players trying to figure out how to escape. Twitch streamer just gonna back away real quick. Take some easy easy shots at mvp that scatter wand going to come in super clutch and twitch streamer is going to run away with the victory on that fight all right both these players here just trying to escape the valley waffle is just going to be dancing up there waiting for one of them to come out not too sure he's going to spot fortnite master is he going to spot twitch streamer twitch streamer is just going to run right past waffle who is literally just emoting in the middle of the field right now twitch streamer going to turn around is he going to punish waffle for doing the emotes he absolutely is. Twitch streamer gonna immediately eliminate Waffle right there. Twitch streamer is looking to get back into this game right now. Fortnite Master gonna be unloading that orb on right now. Twitch streamer coming out with a huge build plays. Very, very smart option. Gonna be going up high. Get the ground advantage over Fortnite Master and maybe get the drop when the zone starts rolling in. Very, very nice plays right now. Let's see what's going on. All three of the players are at this small point in the map right now. Twitch streamer opting. Definitely going to want to switch wands here. Afterburner going to be unleashing a flurry of orb shots. Going to be taking Twitch streamer down to his level. He says, get over here, sir. Who is going to win this firefight? Very quick. Twitch streamer going to be taken down by Afterburner. A very, very nice third place placement for uh, Twitch streamer. That is going to leave Afterburner and Fortnite Master as the last two players in this competition. Afterburner are going to be unleashing yet another flurry of orb shots here. And Fortnite Master is not going to be able to uh, counteract this push at all. That is going to push Afterburner over the top to 15 points. Leaving the rest of the competition in the dust. This has been a supremely exciting match of Battle Royale. Thank you guys so much for coming on this journey with us. Once again, this is a brand new version of our esports uh, game, Battle Royale. Make sure to check it out at blackrocket.com esports. Once again, my name is Jake. If you're watching us live here on Twitch, make sure to give us a follow at twitch.tv slash black, uh, blackrocketllc. If you're not able to catch us live, make sure to check out all of our highlight clips at youtube.com slash brpclips. Last but not least, as always, thank you so much to our sponsor, Simply PHP. For all of your custom web-based programming needs, choose Simply PHP. My name is Jake. Thank you guys so much for watching. It has been awesome commentating for you. And be on the lookout for more awesome esports content from Black Rocket. See you next time.